What's up guys, Chaos here and I have a special one for you today. It's a Chaos Coaching Day, so you know what that means. Our hat's on, baby. Looking to take your Madden game to the next level while dominating kids in Weekend League and learn high level schemes from some of the best Madden pros in the world? Make sure you check out Hot Route Tips and use code CHAOS for 10% off at checkout. Now you guys know when I bring out this hat, it's extremely necessary because I look stupid in hats. Exhibit A. Now when I have this hat on, I'm able to channel my inner thought process and explain to you guys why I do what I do. I can explain to you guys why I made a certain adjustment, why I ran a certain play, why I chose a certain covered shell. Anything of that nature, I can channel to you guys because I have my Chaos Coaching hat on. Oh, is that why? Now if you guys haven't seen yet, I just dropped what I believe to be the best block shed coverage defense in the entire game of Madden 20. And you guys loved it. We got great support on it. So I decided to drop you guys a gameplay where I use that dollar and kind of show you guys how it can be implemented into an entire game plan. So today I'm going to be playing a game of Regs John Madden football and I'm going to show you guys how to use that dollar to lock up your opponent and have more success on the defensive side of the ball. Well guys, it's time to get this Chaos Coaching started. Quickly though, I do want to give you guys a like go. If we can get 600 likes on this video, I will do another Chaos Coaching where I break down more of my gameplay and help you guys get better at Madden 20. Now let's ball. Let's see if we can get 500 likes on this video and I'll give you guys a little happy dance. Alright boys, so we're the Patriots. I told you guys in the last video, if you guys haven't seen that, of course check the cards. But the Patriots are probably the best team for this scheme as far as the personnel when it comes to the DBs. Many people up the speed that they have, the amount of players that they can use. So I am the Patriots now. The Browns also aren't bad. They have a lot of speed and they also have a good pass rusher in Miles Garrett. So if you wanted to use the Browns, that'd be another great choice. I just use the Patriots because I also want the routes on my offense. So we're starting off on offense here. I like to come out in, uh, in Z spot and just kind of start the game off that way. Kind of before I see what he's in if I see something else I'll obviously audible out of it but he's in nickel normal I'm actually gonna run the ball here this counter I actually really like against it so I'm gonna run the ball just to, to test to see what his run defense looks like and it was pretty good so good defense there we gained a couple so he's in cover zero always nice having that previous play on huh a little bit of a crutch for you but now that we see these in cover zero, we can go to something that's going to beat man. Um, obviously, I didn't have to see pass the ball to see it because of the previous play, but I'm going to put it big here. So I just have a couple man beaters on the field. He did a good job. Honestly. That's just, oh my gosh, I fumbled. I didn't even see it. I'm getting ready to say I got lucky and I fumbled the ball. Oh my gosh. Good start for me. All right, boys, I'm just setting up my personnel for a dollar. You got to make sure you always set up your personnel the right way. It's very important. I did go over personnel in the last video for a dollar. So he's coming out on single back tight flex. We're going to run this dollar. That's what this video is on. But we're gonna try to we're gonna try to see what he's doing and just kind of have to base it off that this is a running formation. You can run the ball effectively from it, so just have to be aware for that. Ooh, Gilmore, let's go! That's the adjustment I told y'all. You gotta man people up in this game to the crib, to the crib, to the crib, to the crib. I told y'all this defense fights, man. I'm sky kicking right here. I always sky kick to the right full power. Kicks it to the fullback. Just tries to keep it from having like any mistakes happen. Stuff like that. You never want that to happen. So, Alright, so we're going back to this dollar. Um, we obviously had success with it when he tried to pass. Hopefully he doesn't try to run the ball. Remember, always spread your D-line. We got Gilmore going though, so that's always nice. Always PA. I didn't even get my adjustments in. That's good D. That's good D. Come on. I didn't even want to blitz. I didn't even want to blitz. Oh, he's going to the tote. We can get toted. We can. This is susceptible to get toted on. So if he goes to the tote consistently, we might have to get out of this dollar. One thing I want to coach to you guys is do not be stubborn. Like, you don't be stubborn. If someone's toted on you in dollar... Go get in something else. Go get in 3-4. Go get, like, I'll go to 3-4 solid. I'll go to 3-4 odd. It doesn't matter. But I'm going to make sure he knows how to tote first. We're going to make sure that he actually 
can do it. He's gonna have to prove it to me first. But if he does, I won't hesitate to get out of it. We got good defense here. Everything's boxed. Ah, good play, good play, good play. Ooh, fourth down. They might have cheated him right there. They might have cheated him. I'm actually gonna pinch my line here. Usually when I go to block shed defense, I don't I don't pinch him. But we gotta try to stop this run. Ah! We got pancake! Oh, pull him out! Oh my gosh. Good play. Honestly, high size 2020, but I probably shouldn't have been in dollar right there, to be honest. Alright, we'll, we'll go back to spreading our line here. Straight man in these guys, trying to take away the corner routes. On those wheel. Ah, good play. Good play. This is a little bit of just like a adjustment period. I always tell you guys the first drive of the game is an adjustment period. You're trying to see what they can offer, what they can bring to the table, what dots they have, what runs they go to. I haven't played a ton of passes out of single back tight flex, so I don't know what the passes are a lot of the time. But I do know that he hits this tight end over the middle now, so that is something I can note. Play. I'm going to be honest. I thought I made up the tight end. But he got beat so bad that I went back to user him. But then I realized he was manned up. I couldn't. I don't know what that was. The guy got beat so bad. It's all good though. I can shoot this gap on dive if he runs the ball. I feel like. I don't mind that adjustment there. Oh, we're here. Oh, ah. just a step too slow. Just a step too slow. My adjustment in. I'm here. I'm here. Do something silly. Do something. Oh. Sometimes people just throw something in the air right there for no reason. I was hoping he was going to do that. Dollar. I'm telling y'all, man, this dollar. People gotta make the quick reads. They gotta make the quick reads. It ain't easy. Alright. Oh, no. Oh, I missed it. Oh, get out there. No, no. Get out there. Catch him, please. Please. Oh, my gosh, man. After after two pick sixes, I'm not surprised he's gonna come out toe. Now I expect him to run. If he starts running on me hard, I'm going to get out of this dollar. It's a pass defense, but we'll see how it goes. All right, sticking with that pass. He beat me. He's got the post. He missed it. Let's go, man. I'm telling you all, man, this thing sheds. It sheds. That's what's so good about this defense, bro. If people try to pass, they got to make quick reads. Otherwise, you're going to be in the backfield. This is without a good pass rusher. Could you guys imagine if I had a good pass rusher, what this thing could do? Now, he can definitely tell it on me, though. If he wants to stick with that, he can have success. But but with a third and 14, I'm all right giving up an eight-yard gain, to be honest with you. I like my defense here. Oh, everything is boxed. Go get him. Go get him. Go get him. Go get him. Fumble. Fumble. No. Kill him. Oh, my gosh. We need another fumble right there. I need all the turnovers. I need all the turnovers. Come on. I need them all. All right, baby. Let's see what this thing's got. I think I have the defense for this thing right now. I re it's really boxing up. I really like it. Miller's mine. I have to watch Miller myself. Everything else you can take care of. Miller's mine. Told y'all. Everything's boxed, baby. Get up. I'm telling y'all, this dollar fights, man. Let me go put this game away. Let me go put this game away. Fill up. Oh, 
Oh, he went match. That's good D. He went match. Okay. Let me tell y'all a little small secret here. I got something for match. This is a small secret. I got something for it. I got something for it. I got something for it. Come on, get up, baby. Ugh. All right, we're gonna try to punch this thing. This is probably one of my favorite red zone plays right here. One of verticals. Oh, 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 oh. <sighs> I had a wide open touchdown. You guys saw I got the guy to match on the outside. I didn't think that he would stay and match even down here in the red zone, but he did. Got him. Told y'all we have something for match, man. Told y'all we have something for match. All right, guys. He might run the ball this drive. I expected him to run it more last drive, but I'm going to be honest, man. Like, if he wants to run the ball, he he can go right ahead. It's 21-0. It's Dude, I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm stuck on Lawrence Guy, though. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, my goodness gracious. I don't know what happened right there. Oh. Oh. If he wants to run, he can. All right. Not really sure what he's going to go to here. I don't know what the go-to. Oh, my goodness. The go-to play is a quick hike. Oh my gosh, we got another yik. We got another yik. All right, we're going to go to something. We're going to something here. All right, I don't expect him to be in this palms anymore. I'm going to be honest. There's no way he stays in this palms. Okay, he stays in the palms. Oh no. Oh my gosh. I thought there was no way he would stay in palms after I literally lasered him like four times in a row. Like what? Why would... I don't expect that. I don't know. If I'm getting down in something, I'll usually change up. Personally. There it is. Let's go, baby. Move that change. Oh my gosh, the clock ran off. I forgot the Excel clock. I'm playing too much mutt. I'm playing too much mutt. Get out there, Tom. Oh my gosh, I have touchdowns everywhere. I have touchdowns everywhere. Oh my gosh. I completely forgot about the clock run off, guys. I'm going to be honest. I've been playing too much mutt. You come out the huddle, it doesn't run anything off. It just took 30 seconds for me right there. And I had two touchdowns. Why? That was just, that was a disaster. That was a disaster. I don't know, guys. I don't know what that was. Let's go to half number two. Perfect half, guys. I mean, shoot. If I'm talking about displaying an inner thought process with this dollar, this was it. So really, all I was doing, I mean, in the first half was kind of feeling out what he was doing. And the adjustments I started making, I just started manning up uh, the, the right side of the field and just worrying about the left side myself. So I'm manning up this guy right here on triangle, this guy on X. I'm worrying about the other side myself. You guys can see it. I mean, oh, make a tackle. Don't let Tariq go. So essentially, man, I've just been worried about that, like, that right side because I'm taking away this left side myself with my man-ups. You guys are saying there's not much there. My guys have been doing a good job of man. Oh, oh, I want, I want one freaking monster shot on that guy, Tariq. I want a fumble. I'm not going to get out of this dollar. I know you guys, I know I told you guys if a guy's toting on me, get out of the dollar. But I'm going to be honest with you, like, I feel like I can have a lot of success just playing this coverage D. Oh, my gosh. He missed a wide open pass. Holy smokes. My user was asleep right there. Holy crap. I got a better user right there. That's not good. I'm still doing the same thing. I'm just taking away this, this side myself. Just literally doing everything myself. And I'm trying to I'm trying to man that like, last blitz. I don't want to send that corner. It's useless. Oh, we're on. Oh my goodness. This defense is on display today, boys. This defense is on display today. I'm going to be honest, so this scheme with Dollar, like it has, I told you guys, I showed you guys in the video, it has Max Sting, it has DB Fire, it has a lot of things you can do with it, but I haven't had to leave this DB Fire. Like, here's the thing, I know sometimes like you guys want to switch up your calls or whatever the case may be, 
But if something is working for you the way that this this dollar is working for me, just out of DB Fire, there's no reason for me to switch up to Max Sting. Now, if I'm getting lasered like up the seams or something, then yeah, okay, I can see myself having a reason to go to, um, hey man, to a different defense, right? Like, okay, they're, they're hitting me up the seams in DB Fire, so maybe I should go to Max Sting and help protect myself against the seams with a cover three and man up, something like that. But there's no reason to do that if he's not dotting me up. This thing has a lot of potential to it, and you can make a lot of adjustments, but you don't need to put any extra adjustments there that you don't need. You understand? Like, don't do anything extra. You don't need to just completely change your game plan. Make your opponent decide what to do based on what you, what they're capable of doing about what you showed. So I've shown him DB Fire. He hasn't shown me anything for it. I'm not going to show him my Max Sting until he shows me he has something for, for DB Fire. You know what I mean? Oh, my gosh, man. Counter's either a touchdown or it's a tackle for loss. Alright, more DB fire coming up. He hasn't shown he can beat this man on this right side, so I'm just gonna keep manning him up. Keep trying to take that away. Oh, I missed my gap shoot. Oh, oh. oh. Uh, Tariq Cohen's scary every time he's in the open field. That's the biggest thing to worry about when you're playing against the Bears. Him and Khalil Mack. All right, we got our man ups again. Oh, he's wide open. I miss. He's missing reads. Ah, ah, good play. He's missing his reads though. I'm not gonna lie. He's missing some. He's got some open. He's gotta make those reads. But I'm not gonna lie to him. Also, this block, this dollar be block shedding. <laughs> oh no, my adjustments were off. No, no, make a tackle. Make a tackle. I told y'all I'm not gonna get out of this just because I'm up 27 nothing. If he scores a touchdown here, I'll start playing more run D. But I'm more worried about the pass right here. Oh! Ooh! We scraped up that line like crazy. I just wanted a single back punch. I'm using this backside guy. I'm getting out there myself. Get out there. Get out there. We're Our guys are fighting for us, man. Our guys are fighting for us. Shoot. I'm not gonna lie, this dude be hiking the ball quick as anything though. Let me get back down that. Oh yeah, I told y'all these sheds be crazy. Yo, dollar is really good. This dollar is really good. I'm not even gonna lie to you one bit. This dollar be hum in. This is my perfect setup for a mall game. Just man these guys up. I told you, this can be such a deadly... Oh, yeah. This can be such a deadly scheme, man. Like, literally. It can be such a deadly scheme because you're getting such quick block sheds back there. And then they're having to deal with man-to-man, -man, which is so good this year. There's very few routes that can really, like, toast it. So, I'm going to... I'm gonna, uh, I would usually go for this if it was, like, a like a closer game. I think I can get a fourth and two. But I'm actually going to punt. I want you guys to see more of the defense. I want you guys to be able to see, like, more thought process, just more... More examples of the defense being good and then show, me showing you guys the justice. So, honestly, all game long, he's really only completed like two big passes on me. Um, and they've both been from the tight end. So, I haven't been manning up the tight end every time. But from now on, I'm going to. Because that's the only route that's been hurting me. Now, he's probably running the ball with that motion. Now that he motioned the guy into the fullback spot. Yep. This formation's cool. With you, That's a cool motion. I'm not going to lie. I know that's not part of the video, but <laughs> I thought it was pretty cool. <laughs> Manning up the tight end. Just kidding. There we go. Yeah, man up the tight end here. I mean, hold can you be look at look at him chasing him. Like, let's go chase the quarterback. Did you see this man? Yo, Keon Crossing was bad right there. He just got burnt that bad by a tight end. That was pretty that was pretty bad. You don't see you, oh my goodness. You don't see that bad of man defense very often this game. I mean, someone tackle this man. He's 75 pounds. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. Good tackle. I want to pitch my shutout. Who else wants a shutout? Drop a like in the video if you guys want a shutout. Man, got the tight end here. I think I think that's his go-to uh, red zone play if he passes. Oh, circle back. Oh, kill shot. Just in case, a little tip for you guys. Just a little tip for you guys right there. If you guys want to see what I did, if you turn around, the lineman can't block you in the back. 
So if you're if there's a lineman running right at you, do a quick 360 spin, and the guy will just go block somebody else because he can't block you in the back. It's a penalty. Just letting you guys know. A little tidbit for you guys. Just a little tidbit. We're here. Everything's everything's boxed. Go get him. Oh. These buttons switching every time he like flips it actually has really screwed up my adjustments. Ah. Uh, we're gonna pinch here. We're gonna we're gonna run commit. And I'm gonna use her. Oh yeah, good run commit. Run commit doesn't always work, but it's decent against dive. That's pretty much the only thing it's good against. Man up here, and up here. I'm gonna sprint out there. Oh, go get out there, get out there. Oh. Oh yeah, we made him spin back. That's all that matters. We played good containment there. I want this shutout, man. I know you guys want it too. I know you guys want this shutout. Oh, pinch, pinch, pinch. We're out there. Oh, he juked me. Yes. I want this shutout, man. Come on. We're gonna run commit. We're gonna run commit. We're gonna run commit. We're gonna run commit. We're on the safety. We're run committing. Okay, we're gonna pass commit. Oh my gosh, I'm stuck on Lawrence Guy. Oh, there's the shutout. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. There's the shutout, man. Dang, dude. All right, we're going to chew this thing out, guys. That's it for the game, man. I hope you guys enjoyed I hope you guys learned something from the Chaos Coaching. Now, I know it wasn't the closest game. It wasn't the most competitive game. It got away from the guy that I was playing a little bit. It is what it is. I think if he ran the ball more, he would have had a lot more success. But... Whatever the case may be, he was going. He was trying to pass the ball, and honestly, it worked out well. We got to we got to show you guys a little bit of adjusting, showing you how much potential it has when you man up, man up those corners that are blitzing, and just take away pretty much anything on the field that gets manned up. It did a really good job on his corner routes, on his posts, and everything that he had to offer in his offense. So. Hope that was helpful for you guys. If it was, let me know in the comment section. If there's something else I could have shown to you guys, maybe more um, different adjustments, more reasoning behind my adjustments. I really just had one reason for my adjustments. The tight end route killed me a little bit. I started manning him up, and I wanted to man up the one side of the field to kind of take it away in order to just worry about the one side. So if you can man up both receivers on one side and just have to worry about one side, it really lessens the strain on your user, and you don't have to worry about it as much. So that was really the reasoning behind my adjustments. There wasn't too many things that were hurting me that made me have to go back and do like a – like okay, this guy's killing me with a, with a corner out. I need to make sure I have a cloud flat out there. There wasn't really anything like that because my man-to-man -man was playing so well. So that's it for the video, man. I hope you guys enjoyed. Chaos Coaching, Chaos Hat is out. Take it easy, guys. Peace.